Today's recipe of the week is spatchcock chicken. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome to The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Christy, and today's recipe of the week is spatchcock chicken. Uh, spatchcock chicken is just basically a cooking term where you're basically cutting the backbone out of the chicken, and then when you put it in the oven to roast it, it's going to cook a lot faster than it would be if you left the backbone in it. So what you're seeing right there is Joel is cutting the backbone out of the chicken. Uh, we're really excited about showing this recipe because the thing is with this recipe is that we use it one night as a roasted chicken, then we remove all the leftover chicken off the bone, we save the bones for bone broth, and we use that leftover chicken in a recipe the next night. And generally speaking, our recipe also has leftovers. So we get normally three meals out of each whole chicken when we do this. All right, so um, like you see, he's cut the backbone there. And uh, we save even that backbone, everything gets saved. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, be sure to do that, watch our grocery hauls. And if you see something you would like us to cook, be sure to vote on it because that's how we choose our recipe of the week. Now there, he is basically breaking the bone that is on the front side, the breast bone off the chicken. And then we put it in a skillet. And I forgot to show it here. But what I have underneath that in that iron skillet is a little avocado oil, a little uh, chicken broth. I also smashed a garlic clove and put it in there and then set the chicken on top of it. Okay, and so what I'm doing right here is I actually have some butter and some spices and you can use any spice. I use turmeric, chili powder, garlic powder, some thyme, um, and also some salt and black pepper and I put it uh, mix it with about uh, two tablespoons of butter and then I put it underneath the skin and rub it on top of the skin and again it, I mean if you have a thing about touching the chicken or putting your fingers underneath the skin just wear some gloves I grew up on a farm, so you know we just learned to work with work with it and wash our hands later. But uh, if you have a thing about touching the meat, just make sure you put some gloves on. But anyway, you yes, you slide it underneath the skin and you rub it on top, and then I sprinkle some more spices on top because what I really want is I want a mixture of colors. I know that's kind of odd, but I think. We eat with our eyes first, so if it looks good, you're going to want to eat it. Also remember that you can go back to my recipe about baked chicken. I have tips on how to make the skin of the chicken crispy, so be sure to check out those tips, which also are perfect tips for this recipe as well. You put the chicken in the oven on 450 degrees. Uh, it usually takes about 45 minutes. I don't set it for that time because I'm going to get some potatoes and broccoli ready to go in the oven about 20 minutes after it starts so that they're all finished at the same time. And then uh, at 20 minutes, you're going to add potatoes and broccoli. Uh, here Joel chopped up some potatoes, some red potatoes, and he put it in a bowl. He put in some avocado oil, he, salt, black pepper, and uh, he may have put garlic powder in there, I'm not sure. And then he just uh, shook the bowl around and then he laid it out on the pan. He's also putting some frozen broccoli on the other side 
uh, avocado oil on that as well and use Montreal steak seasoning to season it. And uh, we don't use, purchase Montreal steak seasoning. We actually use a blend and I will link that blend down in the description. But if you don't wanna mix that together yourself, then just uh, you can buy it at the store. There, he's just mixing it around. Then he's going to um, put a little more seasoning on top of it. After you put the potatoes and broccoli in the oven, you're gonna let that go for 20 minutes. You're gonna take it out, you're gonna stir the broccoli around, and then, and then you're gonna put it back in the oven, and then let all of it go for another 15 minutes. When the 15 minutes is up, then take the chicken out of the oven. You're gonna test the temperature. You want it to be 165 degrees for the chicken uh, to be fully cooked. We're, we let the chicken rest for the 10 minutes. And that is the whole recipe. It's pretty simple. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also be sure to comment on each one of our grocery hauls with the recipe that you would like to see us make, uh, you can choose one from our meal plan each week and we will pick the one with the most votes each week to be the recipe of the week. And that is all for today. Be sure to check out one of the videos that's probably floating on the screen. It is probably another recipe of the week. And until next time, this is Christy with The Long Run with Joel and Christy. Bye.